This is the Captive Negress Bust by Jean Baptiste Carpeau. This piece is currently in the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York City, sometimes called the Met. This piece here has uh, been sent to us by a customer of ours who originally ordered it in the uh, silver gold pewter finish, which just doesn't look right on this piece. So they want us to refinish it to a light terracotta the way the, uh, the original one is presented in the museum in New York. Uh, so we're going to get started on that this afternoon and I'll take you through that refinishing process and see if we can come up with something that's uh, much closer to uh, the original piece. All right, now that we have, have her painted, and she's all one color, this color that I chose was just an off-the-shelf off the color. It's a brick red. Um, was as close as I could come to, to the finish that we're trying to achieve. Um, we're now going to try and uh, adjust her color down to the lighter terracotta finish that she is shown in in the, uh, in the museum. Um, and that will be achieved probably in three or four different steps before we get done, um, but I will get started on that process now. We're going to start by doing uh, a dry brush uh, with this first color of terracotta on. Um, that's done with basically just a little shaving brush. Works best for me anyways. The main thing here is that we spread the, uh, the paint out evenly on the brush and not too much. In a lot of ways, uh, dry brushing is a lot like sponge painting. When you first start, the brush is, is loaded with paint, and with each stroke, it gets lighter and lighter. So instead of working all in one area, we jump around and spread what we call our hot spots out, because the next spot's going to be a little bit less, and a little bit less, and a little bit less each time. And uh, as we go along, with each loading, we spread those hot spots over various areas, and then we will eventually bring all those hot spots together, and it'll be one, hopefully, one even, uh, one even tone. Sponge painting is a is a lot the same way. If you start out with a loaded sponge and you just go in one area, it looks like somebody took a machine gun and shot across the wall. But if you take that same sponge and you jump various places with it and even twist it a little bit so you don't get brush strokes, you get more swirls. We spread out those hot spots as much as we can. This piece also has, uh, is going to have a, uh, a very light white antiquing. Um, it's going to go down in the lower spots where the darker colors remaining right now. We're going to lighten that up uh, with, a, with an off-white to give it that terracotta look that it has in the museum. And I'm not really sure where it's going to go. It's a lot of times it's just uh, do it and um, compare it to a photo or whatever finish we're trying to achieve and then adjust it a little bit later on as we get closer and closer. And with each color change it requires less paint because we're closer and closer and it goes it goes a lot quicker than these first coats do. Okay, now that we have uh, the bulk of her dry brushed, I'm going to come back with a smaller brush here so I can reach in to some of the tighter spots where my bigger shaving brush doesn't quite reach. That way we don't have any 
dark spots. When we go to put our antiquing on, we have a, a uniform look that way. And also as I go along, sometimes I get too much paint in or on my brush and I get a, get a dark spot. I can just smooth it off with my fingers, spread it out so it's not a hot spot anymore. The other thing I do too is uh, if I got brush strokes there, I can push those out a little bit so they're not, it doesn't look like we brushed it. It looks like it's the, the finished form naturally. Now, it looks to me like this finish is, is too light um, and we need to darken it. But I won't make a color change until I get the, uh, the white antiquing on there. Because once we get one color up against another color, uh, color is kind of strange that way. It changes on you. So we'll wait to, uh, to get our, our, our off-white antiquing on. And then uh, we'll do that uh, last color change to get that close to that terracotta color as we can.